Hi, I'm Chad, and we're gonna go over the best soil for St. Augustine grass. But real quick, before we get started, if you can like and subscribe, that'll help other people looking for a video like this find it. I'm also doing online consultations, $90, for 40 minute Zoom call consultations where I make you a custom plan. I also sell these awesome lawn kits that give you exactly guide by guide, when to mix, how to mix, and what to use, some of the best products in the industry. If you're interested in any of that, email me at turforganics904 gmail.com, but let's get right into the best soil for St. Augustine grass. Now, the, the simple answer to this is sandy soil. Now, what I wanna make clear is that it's not just pure sand soil, but soil that is on the sandier side. The main reason is St. Augustine grass requires a lot of oxygen supply to the root system. So that's oxygen in the soil to really help St. Augustine grass thrive. Now, St. Augustine grass will not thrive in poor drainage and compacted soils. Clay soils can definitely be a large issue with having compaction and lack of drainage. Now, so if you have clay soils, what you wanna help do is do an aeration and adding sand will help the soils drain in St. Augustine grass to thrive. Now, if you're in an area where it's all pure sand, that might be good for drainage, but sand holds no natural nutrients. So doing an aeration and adding a more loamy soil will help capture those nutrients while still allowing that soil to drain. Now, what I see especially in Florida is a lot of these new construction homes, which is anything built within the last 10 years, have kind of this sandy clay mixed soil to it. But the sand they're using does not drain. Let me show you an example. So you have a sandy soil that has no nutritional value and it also will not drain. So and under these circumstances, it's pretty much impossible for St. Augustine grass to thrive. And as you can see here, a good way to test is you can use a soil probe to get the soil and see, and also pull up the roots. See if you have black rotted roots. Another really good indicator is like what we have going on here. This grass is very dry and crunchy. And as you can see, it's not totally dead. It's got a little bit of color to it, but it's very thin and sparse and it's super dry. But when I touch the soil and pull out some soil here, the soil is very wet. So we have wet soil and dry grass. That means we have root rotting issues from moisture not draining. Your, even though your soil is wet, that means your roots are so rotted that it won't pick up enough water or nutrients to thrive. This is what I call the forever okay lawn. But your lawn, no matter what you seem to do to it, if you fertilize it, it doesn't really show many results or shows very short term results and then goes back to normal to what it is. And that's because the rotted roots are picking up just enough water and nutrients just to survive and not thrive. And that's caused, now it can be caused from overwatering, but if you know you're not overwatering, that's caused from moisture not being able to drain through. And now if you use that soil probe and you have clay, well obviously just add sand to allow it to drain. Now, if you do a soil probe and you have sand, well sandy soil is supposed to be dry and draining. But what I've come to see in these new construction homes, anything in the last 10 years, that's not happening. So what you wanna do is add a loamy, aerate the soil, and aerations alone will help make a big difference, but not permanently. We need to add something in there and add a more loamy, sandy soil mix because we wanna get some nutrients in there, but we still want to allow this to drain, to get these areas to really thicken up and, and thrive. And that's a good way of telling. If your grass is constantly dry and crisp, the leaf blades are folding up, it's really crisp all the time, and you touch the soil and the soil wet, that's absolutely your problem. I see that so often. Another good test is when you add fertilizer to it. Are you fertilizing and not and getting very minimal results? Pull out the roots, check the roots. Rotted roots, we know what this is coming down to. Now we can get soils. So now it really comes down to, you need aerations and soils to fix this issue. Because remember what I said, St. Augustine grass needs oxygen in the soil to thrive. When the soil is constantly wet, it starts to compact, 
compaction pushes out oxygen. It's hard for oxygen to move through that soil. And St. Augustine grass really, really needs that to thrive. Now we can get down to what soil can really help. Like I said, if you're in a clay area, simple, just add sand. Now, if you're in this where I describe sandy, very sandy soil that's not draining and causing your lawn to have that dry look and forever okay lawn look, the best possible soil to use, and this is actually can be used in clay in any, is command soil. This is the best soil money can buy. Now, unfortunately, command is very hard to find, but command is the perfect blended soil. It can be used in areas that are holding too much moisture and not enough. This blend is exactly made for St. Augustine grass, where it has enough loamy to hold nutrients and enough sand to allow drainage. So if you need to improve your soil, aerating and adding command, or even just adding command can make a very, very big difference. Now, because command's so hard to find, another big recommendation I like is black cow and sand. Leveling sand or play sand are the best options, but overall a good quality sand without a bunch of rocks in it will do. Now you wanna do a ratio of one bag to black cow to one bag of sand. That's average overall. But if you have areas that are holding more moisture and more wet, you can use more sand, maybe more of a 70-30 blend of sand to black cow. And if you're having areas that are very hot and dry, you can flip it the other way. Maybe a 60-40 mix, 60% black cow, 40% sand. But a good bag to bag ratio is great. And the reason you wanna do that is because that black cow can sometimes hold too much moisture when that's just applied on its own. So by using the sand, it can help give it that nutrients and also drain through in the rainy season. Now, if you wanna exactly know how to do that top dressing, I have videos I'm gonna link down in the description and pop up on the screen that cover exactly how to top dress. I show you exactly how to do it. So if you wanna know more, if you're very interested in this and you know this is the problem for your lawn, I think a lot of you this will be. Adding the soil will make a big difference. Getting the proper soil in there to allow your St. Augustine to thrive will make a very big difference. So check out those videos on how to do it. And also subscribe to the channel because I have just the next, this month of April, I'm doing over 12 top dressing jobs to lawns with this exact situation in the St. Augustine in Jacksonville area. And I'm going to film, record, and follow up and make consistent videos about these to show the steps of how to do it and the difference adding proper soil can make to a lawn. And I'm gonna film all of them to show the different situations, pictures, updates, everything. So subscribe to the channel to see that because it's a big investment with either a lot of money or a lot of time and I'm gonna show you that it works. This has been my fourth year doing these top dressing jobs and I have more than ever before. And I'm excited to spend the time to share them with you this year. So subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more of that so I can show you the proof of what this soil can make a difference in your lawn. And of course, doing it in the springtime is ideal. Fall is the next, then summer, and you can do it in winter not really ideal. If you're gonna do it in winter, I wouldn't do aerations, I would just add soil. But spring, fall, summer are great times of the year to apply this sooner rather than later because your lawn's not going to just fix itself when you have that poor rotting root system. And if this, so if this video helped you, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel again to help other people find it. And I do do those online consultations and I've worked really hard on these lawn kits and I've gotten great feedback about them. So if you're interested, just email and I'll email me at turforganics904 gmail.com and I will send you all the information about these lawn kits. So you can check them out for yourself. And I have a money back guarantee that you will love these lawn kits. This has been the best soil for St. Augustine grass. I hope this has helped you have one of the best lawns on the street this year and everyone have a great rest of your day.